Hey, hello. This is uh, Brian Gordon. I am here today at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in Vallejo, California with Remy Corner. Remy, thank you for joining us today. And if you wouldn't mind, tell us a little bit about your background in this uh, aquatic life support industry and what you do here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Um, so I started in uh, life support field about eight years ago um, here at Six Flags. Um, after a couple of years, I got involved with ALSO, um, which stands for Aquatic Animal Life Support Operators. It's a national organization uh, that brings together life support professionals um, from all over the country and some from outside of the United States. Um, so my experience kind of grew from the connections that I got at ALSO, um, as well as my incredible amount of experience here. Uh, we have a very large life support system here. It's about six and a half million gallons of treated seawater. Wow. Um, across eight independent large marine mammal systems. Um, and I am the life support manager here at Six Flags Discovery Team. Awesome. So, what, you know, as I was getting to know more about your, your property here, your location here, is that, you know, when I think Six Flags, um, I think most people think roller coasters in a typical amusement park like a Disneyland. But you guys got quite a few animal exhibits ranging from you know, dolphins to elephants. Are there any of these exhibits or, uh, you know, animal uh, displays that you're most proud of? Um, I like the walrus exhibit um, for the walruses. Um, as far as the, the actual life support systems go, I'm very proud of our Toyota, uh, Toyota Stadium uh, exhibit, which is where we showcase dolphins, as well as our uh, Dolphin Harbor exhibit, again, another dolphin facility. So those are two different... Yes. Okay. Two yeah, different we have, systems. We have three independent dolphin facilities here at the park. Oh, wow. Um, we have 21 Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. On 21 the dolphins. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so one of the main purposes I wanted to talk to you today was, Remy, is uh, you guys have been using our new uh, 578 lug style butterfly valve. And I understand you first installed a couple, um, you know, about a year ago, and then uh, you recently bought about a dozen more. Um, where, uh, where are you installing these? What systems are these on? Uh, we have one actually installed on a backwash line on our sea line exhibit, um, which we've had for quite some time now. Um, and then the, the dozen that we just put in are for our Dolphin Harbor exhibit. We put them on a uh, foam fractionator um, side stream loop. Okay, great. Now, um, what size range are you typically talking about on these? I mean, uh, how big, how small? Uh, typically, I'd say most of my butterfly valves here at the park are 8-inch. Um, so that would be my biggest application is, is in the 8-inch size. Um, but also 6-inch and 4-inch um, are, are quite common uh, for these systems. Now, is this mostly PVC pipe that we're, uh, we're talking about? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And is it seawater running through there? Or yep. Okay. Seawater, about 35 parts per thousand. Okay. Okay, great. Well, going back to the butterfly valve... So this design, we of course think it's uh, unique and, and has its advantages, and we kind of consider it what, as what's known in the, uh, the metal butterfly valve world as high performance. Mm -hmm. So it's double eccentric. When you open up the valve, it disengages from the disc seal, and we basically designed it to be a lot less lower torque in wear. Now, does that play a role for you guys being lower torque or easier to open and close. Does that have any real advantages for you guys here? Absolutely. As the, the disc comes out of the, the seat and the valve, um, it's incredibly low torque. Um, and that's one of the, the reasons we chose this valve for this particular project um, was because we had that 8-inch butterfly valve on our sea lion exhibit that we've been trying out for quite some time. Um, and the staff and myself have nothing but good things to say about that, that low torque design. Um, and how easily it comes to rest at a close, or how easy it is to open from close. Well, I've, even, I've been at some of the other um, aquariums, and I've, I've actually seen them um, on some of the, the, the boot design type valves actually slide like a big piece of pipe over the lever to help them out. Right. And, and uh, I've certainly got my fair share of those kind okay. here, too, where I need to kind of get a, a cheater bar in there and give it, give it some extra torque yeah. to get some of these things open. Yeah, and yeah. With okay. These, with these 578s, um, it's been no problem. Okay, great. Um, any issues installing the valves? At no, all? Um, and I'd say that the, the, the lug design of, of these valves, these 570 valves, um, certainly helped me out with putting the project together. Um, it was probably the easiest part of the entire install on the plumbing side, which we 
took care of in house. So uh, now they, they went in very, very easy. Awesome. Well, Remy, thank you very much for your time here today at uh, Vallejo, California, and look forward to working with you in the future. You too. Thank, thank you. you.